people now. Uh, you're not gonna pre-tell me the questions. You want it to be real and raw. It's gonna be real. Like right here. Man, I throw people on the spot. I don't give a damn how you are. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. All right. Who are you? Uh, Casey Mitchell, aka or better known as that one leg monster. All right. Now, you know what your handicap is. And you want to say it like that. But what would you tell somebody else in the same situation in order to make a push through it? Hey, you know, wake up every day, strap that fucking leg on, that fucking arm on, whatever it is that you got. Give no fucking excuses and just go own the damn day. You're still normal. You can still move. You can still do whatever the hell it is you want to do. Mind over matter and you just got to fucking do it. For someone who's actually, how did, how did the gym actually help you? The gym helped me because, you know, it gave me a sense of like purpose, I guess you could say. And it gave me goals every day. I had goals, you know, what, you know, every day we go in there, we lift a different body part. Uh, we, we try to lift more weight. We try to do more reps. And so every single day I woke up, I had something to like go do goal wise, you know, and just, and, and whether it was a small goal, those small goals turn into really big fucking goals at the end of the day. And so, you know, set goals for yourself and the gym can do that for you. Don't just go in the gym and lift weights. Go in the gym and fucking train. And go in the gym and with a fucking purpose and with some intensity. And I guarantee you, it's going to change your life as well. What, would you, what advice would you give to other veterans, other supplies, anybody else, in order to keep an eye out for the 22 soldiers in order to try and help them? Right. Yeah, man. With the you know the 22 soldiers, you know it's a it's a it's a tough thing, you know, because a lot of us we're hard ass motherfuckers, and the last thing that we're going to sit there and kind of say anything to is like you know about pity. You know, a lot of us we don't want your fucking pity, but there are times where uh, the mind can fucking get to you, and uh, you have that you have that going on in your mind. But at the same time, you're trying to be that hard motherfucker that you are, and you are that hard motherfucker still, even though you are going through what it is you're going through. It doesn't make you not a hard ass. You know, we're a badass. You're still a hard ass. You're still a badass. You're just dealing with some shit. You know, and we all deal with some shit. I don't care who you are. Me, I've dealt with shit. I've been on that line where I'm like, man, I don't know what the fuck it is I'm gonna do with myself. Uh, life sucks. You know, kind of a thing. But you know what? I fucking got up every day. I gave myself a purpose. I have a life, and you only get one. And I guarantee you, if you were to see somebody or know somebody. Uh, and, and that's struggling and you just reach out and just talk to them a little bit even though you know it and they're not gonna admit it just fucking holler at them talk to them maybe you're gonna change their whole mood their whole mindset for that day and so if you see these guys and you kind of in your stomach know or you know that hey they're struggling a little bit go out of your way go help them out go talk to them go out to lunch go have a fucking beer with them you know and uh, you, you may just change their whole entire day um, I've done that with a lot of people honestly I can really truly say that I've reached out to people that I feel like are going through a str struggling time uh, just to say what's up to them, you know, social media wise or whatever, and I don't even know them, but you can just see it, or they kind of hit me up in the way that they're talking, I, I can feel it, you know, so I just will sit there and converse with them for hours, and you know what, their mind, it, what they were sitting there thinking about, they're no longer thinking about it, and uh, you just completely change their mindset, you literally probably just save somebody's life, and there's not a better feeling in the world knowing that you just change somebody's day, which could therefore change somebody's life. The statue level that you're at right now, right, would you admit, right, you don't have to on the camera, would you admit that you're still dealing with any type of darkness that came from, you know, the poor uh, and all that? Day? I'll say it on camera. I deal with darkness yearly, all the time. There's times in my life, even though the way my life is, like, it looks fucking like a blast. And guess what? That's fucking social media, you know? But I'm not, you guys all know me. I'm a real, real motherfucker, and I keep it real. Yeah, I deal with my dark times. Uh, you know, I lost my team leader in, uh, in Afghanistan. I've lost soldiers. I've seen, I've seen shit. I've done shit and I deal with my own personal shit. Uh, but guess what? I fucking get up and I fucking continue to move on and do what I'm supposed to do. And just like you guys, like I'm telling you guys, I find reasons to and t uh, to tell myself like, you know, I need to be here. Like I need to still be here. I got a daughter, you know, I got a wife, I got this. I'm here for them too. Just, in so many words, I'm not a selfless motherfucker, you know, I'm a selfish motherfucker, you know, I'm, I, I'm trying to be selfish, I'm trying to do things more for everybody else, and for me to sit there and like, let's say, go away, um, it's going to hurt a lot of people, and it's going to hurt a lot more people than what you can even imagine, even though you may not think that anybody gives a fuck, it's going to hurt a lot of people, so yeah, do I deal with darkness? Absolutely, I feel like everybody in life goes through dark times, depression, anxiety, or whatever, but... It's like, how the fuck are you gonna deal with it? Like, how are you gonna move past it? And each time you move past it, it makes you that much stronger physically and mentally. And so that's the way I, I do it. And I have can tell you that 
from the time that I was going through my deepest, darkest times to the time now, they fade away a lot more. I don't have them as often. Uh, life gets better, things get more positive. And so, you know, if I would've took my life or done anything back then, I mean, I wouldn't be doing the shit that I'm doing now. And let me tell you what, when I was all on my on, on pills and depressed and sitting on a couch and drinking beer and just getting fucked up and shit, did I ever think I'd be doing what it is that I'm doing here now? Absolutely not. And when I first started this journey, was it to become doing what it is or become who I am? No, it wasn't, but it turned into this. So just know that wake up and when life sucks, kick it in the dick, keep moving and positivity and great things could come down the road. It may not be in a day, it may not be in a month, it may not be in a year. You know, I, it's taken me five years to get to where I'm at. And even in those five years, I have up and down times, but I keep pushing and each time, like I said, I get mentally and physically stronger. Last question I got for you is along that line. For someone who's sitting at home alone, right, and they start hearing a voice, they start having those thoughts, um, reality becomes blurred. What would be the immediate advice you would give somebody in that, that time and sense? Right, yeah, get up, get up out of the house. Get up, go find something to do, go find somebody. Hit up one of your old friends. You know, uh, more than likely, a lot of times is when we get into those dark places, we shut everybody out because they, and they're trying to come, they're trying to come, like they're, they're there for you. But you know, when you shut somebody out so much, it's like, we can't, what do we do? We can't do nothing for this guy. He just won't, you know, hit them up, go out, have a couple beers, go talk about bullshit. Go talk about your times in the military. Go talk about whatever. If you're not in the military, just go talk about good times. Go have good times. Go make memories. You know, uh, that's the one thing that I, I can say is that with life, I try to live every day to where every day I wake up, I'm like, man, what am I going to do today? You know, I, I, am I going to sit here on this couch and, be, and feel sorry for myself, play fucking video games and me look back and be like, damn, for the last year I sat on the couch and played video games. Or am I going to be like, man, I traveled to Pennsylvania for the Warhouse gym event. I traveled to like these expos. Oh, I met this guy. I met this person, you know, I helped uh, train with this person in the gym. Uh, I had beers with these motherfuckers last night, you know, like set memories, like have memories. Don't have, don't have mere memories where of you sitting on the couch feeling sorry for yourself. Be bigger and better than that and get up and get out because guess what? Things aren't going to come to you. Nobody is gonna sit there for a long period of time and fucking feel sorry for you after a long period of time. Nobody's gonna come and say, hey, your life sucks, here's a fucking million dollars, go live life now. Nobody's gonna give you handouts. You gotta go out and earn that shit. And yeah, you may go out and just earn a little bit. You may go out and earn a fucking 25 pound, you know, fucking dumbbell press, but guess what? You went in there and you earned that fucking shit. And then you know what? In about a month, you're gonna come in there and you're gonna earn a 50 pound fucking dumbbell press or a fucking bench press, you know? And, and that's what you have to live life like. You have to live life every day, waking up, owning and dealing with your own shit and going out and earning your shit. That's love. That's it. Tell where to find you. That's it, man. And how to find you. That's it, man. I'm that one leg monster on uh, Instagram. That, the actual number one leg monster on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It's all the same. Email me, that one leg monster at gmail.com if you're struggling with shit. I'm pretty good about answering back. I got mad love for, you know, the, the PTSD thing, the anxiety thing, the mental thing. I love mental. You know, as, as a physical strength athlete that I am, I love the mental shit. So hit me up if you guys need me.